Kakamega doctors remain resolute in their decision to not resume work despite the stern warning issued by Governor Fernandez Barasa. The doctors on Friday took to the streets to demonstrate for their grievances to be heard. Uh, Serikali na KMPDU Kuna mkataba walio ingia umako elfu mili na kumina saba Na mpaka leo hii serikali imekiuka mkataba ule Imekua katika hali ya mgomo Tumekua na majadeli yonu Kusiana na swala hili kwa zaidi ya miaka saba Lakini serikali yetu imekua katika hali ya mgomo Kwa hivyo sisi kama wahudumu wa afya Hatujakua na bubi ila kujumika na serikali katika mgomo huu. Sisi tuko tayari kurudi ma hospitalini na kuhudumia wa Kenya wenzetu na haina faida kuona wa Kenya wenzetu wa In a bid to address the ongoing strike, Governor Barasa has threatened to terminate the employment of all doctors in Kakamega County who failed to report back to their duties. And this is my message uh, to the doctors who are on strike. Uh, first and foremost, the labor court uh, through Justice uh, Bayram Ongaya directed that the doctors must resume uh, their duties in the interest of the patients as we negotiate at national level uh, on the issues which they raised in their collective bargaining agreement. The position of Council of Governors is also the same that doctors must put the lives of our patients first. They resume as we deal with their issues. Issues of delayed salary, some of them are already being addressed. They are no longer issues as, as at last month. And therefore, as the governor of this county, I want to ask all, this, all the striking doctors that tomorrow by 8 a.m., I want all of you to resume your duties and any doctor who will not be at their workstation by 8 a.m. we shall not have any excuse other than releasing them however the doctors stand firm in their resolve refusing to yield to the governor's ultimatum <laughs> Moreover, trade unions representing PSI expressed continued support for striking healthcare workers nationwide on Friday, despite Kisumu and Kakamega governors condemning the strike and threatening job termination for the medics. We want to tell the nation that the problem is not the doctors. The problem is not the unions. The problem is SRC and the problem is the government, which has consistently demonstrated reticence, apathy, ignorance towards the labor rights. Uh, you realize that uh, there was an ongoing promotion for clinical officers and we have quite a number who have not been promoted. Um, we also have our colleagues who are under UHC, as the uh, uh, DSD has said, who are yet to be confirmed and we are not even seeing a way forward because um, there is no proper path of confirmation for them. And we are saying that the clinical officers in turn, those are not uh, students. They are saying that they are students. I saw SRC chair saying that they are wanatuonea uroma. Wanatuonea uroma wapi na hawa ni watu wenye wamemaliza masomo, wamepata cheti. They have their certificates. People who have their papers and already left. They are just they are just prescribing what is required by the Clinical Officers Council Act, which is a law that for you to get a, a full license, you must undergo a one-year internship. 
because right now they have provisional license. Furthermore, the Kenya Union of Clinical Officers has declared its intention to escalate the ongoing strike with plans to withdraw essential services starting next Monday. This development is expected to deepen the healthcare crisis in the country. <coughs> Announced that all clinical officers serving as anesthetians and other critical services specialists will cease their duties beginning Monday. The goodwill is lacking. You remember when we started the strike, we said that we would allow some of the essential, some of the critical services like the anesthetics, which is necessary in theatre and critical care to proceed. But today we want to announce that from Monday, all the anesthetists, all the critical care clinic officers and other specialists will cease working henceforth until these matters are resolved. However, Public Service Performance and Delivery Management Cabinet Secretary Moses Kuria now says his ministry will be in charge of negotiations of all collective bargaining agreements with all professional workers union in the country going forward. Engineers are students. Doctors are students. Actual scientists are students. You know, we really can't have rules for one profession. For people who went through high school together and they came from the same grade and they just went to different directions and then we treat them differently. This comes amidst a month-long doctor strike over a CBS signed in 2017, occasioning a push and pull with the government and no end still in sight. He hence stated that if the government agrees to such demands, then it will only be a matter of time before another professional workers' union comes forth with similar unrealistic demands. These he initiated will lead to anarchy in the country, hence a need to centralize all the CBA negotiations under one roof to create order. And that is why I'm having this conversation to stop all um, uh, profession or faction driven CBAs. Yeah, and I, I, I've said this to my colleagues in parliament. Now, if you have doctors continue to bargain their own CBA, then engineers, then vets, you know, then HR people, then actualists, then, then we're going to have, you know, things, you know, you, you even have people from veterinary department saying this is for the bigger, CBA for the bigger, vets for bigger animals, and these are vets for the small vets. So of course, you know, everybody will have their own, their own, their own CBA, and I really get the Minister for Public Service to centralize all CBA negotiations, bring them within my cover to stop all these professional Focused CBS. This comes as opposition leader Raila Odinga and a section of the clergy have urged the government to take steps to end the doctor strike that has gone for a month. Raila warned of a looming full blown health crisis and called on both county and national governments to review intern doctors' pay. Payment of fees for doctors pursuing further studies, address doctors' contracts, and the issue of equal pay for equal work. The situation is moving from bad to worse, and soon we will have a full-blown crisis in which all health workers will down their tools. I am convinced that the doctors and all other health workers currently on strike will be able to craft a return-to-work formula and resume duty if the government were to meet the demands halfway while negotiations continue. The religious leaders under the umbrella Kenya Conference of Catholic Bishops called on the state to engage the doctors and find a lasting solution. They also urged the government to clear national health insurance fund debts before transitioning to the new social health insurance fund. It is hurting the country. Many people are suffering in hospitals. We understand the plight of uh, the uh, medical practitioners, we also understand the situation the government is in. I think where people sit at the table, around the table and talk about things, there is always going to be a solution. The faith-based hospitals are owed huge amounts by NHIF. As of now, this has accrued to over 2 billion Kenya shillings. Our inquiries on whether our debts will be honored have been met with mere promises 
and no legal guarantee. For Maisha Prime, Maisha Television, I'm Mesh Msimbi.